we get to experience Israel together as kind of a newly created community. And that was some, that was a really really important thing we learned last year that taking twenty we took twenty LGBT Jews to Israel who had not met each other before, and during the course of the eight days that we were together then, um, people really created community among themselves. Um, you know, we have the group that stayed together on Facebook, we're still in communication. Two of the guys who were on the trip uh, were from St. Louis and they were both, they were partners and they both had converted to Judaism. And, and so a few months ago they had a joint bar mitzvah in St. Louis and half the people that had been on the trip flew wow. to St. Louis to wow. be part of their SimFest. So that sort of gives you a sense of the kind of bonding that took place during the trip. Um, but it's also an LGBTQ trip in the sense that it is kind of like an embrace of the kind of the really diverse spectrum of, of, of Israel's LGBTQ community. All of the, the kinds of people I was talking about in my Yad Parah sort of way of meeting them and embracing them and learning about the work that they do and how to support it and um, everything from the Orthodox to the secular to the teenagers to um, we met with Nitan Horowitz is the out member of the Knesset from the Merits Party. Um, this year we have a plan to meet with some of the gay people who are part of the newly formed gay group inside of Likud. So we are going to get a, uh, um, and um, gay filmmakers in Israel are going to share some of their work with us. Um, a couple of the things that are special this year is that we're going to have a Shabbat study session in Jerusalem with Rabbi Steve Greenberg, um, who's going to be in Israel with his with his book that he has just had translated into Hebrew. Wow! So uh, he's going to be. I, I told Arthur to be sure to let you know that it's translated into Hebrew. Uh, we're also going to give people the opportunity through Iraq to participate in Jerusalem in a freedom ride, which is kind of which is taking a ride on the segregated buses to sort of protest their segregation. So I think that's going to be another opportunity. And then it turns out that we will also be in Jerusalem for what on the Hebrew calendar is the uh, anniversary of the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin. Mm -hmm. There's like a traveling museum that will, be able to, that will actually come to us, I think, that we'll be able to experience about that. So, um, yeah. so those are some of the things that will just be sort of special about this particular trip. Um, but we will meet with the leaders of Jerusalem Open House. Um, we're trying to arrange meetings with um, some of the Palestinian LGBT leaders in Israel. Um, we'll meet with the transgender activists. Um, so a very, very broad range of Israeli LGBT society. Um, and, um, and then we'll do, then we'll have fun. We'll, go, we'll, go, we'll cover ourselves with mud and go swimming in the Dead Sea and uh, we'll go dancing at night in Tel Aviv at the gay clubs. Where you see pink elephants after. <laughs> <laughs>